Title said y'all's pop-up was cracking his D about your exit this bit by deleted. It's titled Lil Wayne is Fried. Dang, what has he done recently? Is he on his Kodak-ish? I hope not. Let's see what's going on with him. Let's watch. I think I need to make one thing clear on this channel before we begin. I don't give a <laughs> with none of y'all think. I'm gonna just be honest with you. When y'all get mad at me and say, I'm in subbing. Nobody cares. <laughs> get your soft A up out of here. Nobody I, I, cares. Like, I don't get it. You can't cancel someone that don't care. When I see men typing that, I feel like you guys got girl hands. Your old feminine hands. So am I going to have to be the kid to say it? Do, do I got to be everybody's enemy again? Am I going to have to be the stick in the mud? I say that like I don't love this type of energy. <laughs> Little Wayne is fried. He's literally the Patrick Star of rap at this point. Hova, jealous of this performance? <laughs> Now, I wouldn't Ain't be no going way. so hard on Lil Brain the way I am if it when wasn't was that for clip? his recent temper tantrum over the Super Bowl halftime slot, which was ultimately awarded to Kendrick Lamar. Lil Brain let his whole team amp him up and allowed these bozos to uplift him and make him feel that this was a way of redeeming his legacy, when in reality, it was a slight to K-Dot and Jay-Z. Nicki Minaj's Coca-Cola rant on Twitter started this whole fiasco demanding Wayne being the Super Bowl headliner, but she really used this debate to mask her subliminal disses in between on how she felt aimed at Jay-Z, Rock Nation, and Meg Thee Stallion. Nicki Minaj has been going at Rock Nation's neck for years now, and it honestly seemed it got worse when they started supporting her ops. Are we surprised though? Nicki hates on anything and everyone with a vote. Wait, can I say bitch on here? I, I don't know. I'll just say cat. Nicki Minaj hates anything and everything that has a cat. Weird because she truly is one of, if not the I best like female that. MC of all time. She is the queen of rap, but she carries herself like a peasant. Meanwhile, you have Birdman edging the shit on and the edgelord himself, Drake, the sub queen. Posting subliminals throughout this Little Wayne vs. Kendrick spectacle. By the way, these are the same people who were quiet when Birdman robbed Wayne of millions. The same mm -hmm. people who had nothing to say when Birdman stopped the Carter Six album from mm -hmm. ever dropping and allowed his then artist Young Thug to claim the Carter Six title, which he would then change yeah. the album to Barter Six because of, of the outrage and backlash. Mm -hmm. These are the same people that didn't bat an eye when Young Thug allegedly shot up Wayne's tour now bus with Wayne inside <laughs> at the time of the shooting. Well, These are the action. same people who were quiet while we watched the great run of Little Wayne go silent and his career came to a halt by the hands of Birdman. This is literally the very reason why Wayne's run stopped so suddenly. However, in the midst of all this, Jay-Z was the one who helped Wayne get out of debt and paid $14 million of Wayne's taxes. Let's keep it like Jay-Z. You know what I mean? These boots are atrocious. He told me when I was really, really, really down. Give us gun balls. He don't want me to talk about it. He don't want me to tell nobody. Jay don't want me to tell nobody. That man helped me with my tax. These are real friends, y'all. Shout out to my nigga okay, Jay. I'm, sh I'm shocked that so many people are running with the Jay-Z is hating on Lil Wayne narrative because Jay-Z has done nothing but show Wayne the utmost love. Jay-Z literally helped this man with his tax debt. I don't know what the actual number was, but you know, uh, the USA Today said back in 2018, it was over 14 million in taxes. Jay helped him get out of debt. Jay helped him keep his house. So I don't think that sounds like hate to me on a person. Jay wanted to sign Lil Wayne. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Ironically, besides Birdman, these are the same people that did not show yeah, up to his little bang. Louisiana show at all. Drake too busy acting like a battered scorn woman on the sideline, mean mugging DeRozan, and Nikki somewhere playing with her nose. Wow. Allegedly. <laughs> not true whatsoever. I just said that for the dramatic effect of things. Wayne should have read the fucking room. I was always taught as a child to never be someone else's entertainment for drama. For instance, if people are hyping you up to create some sort of beef with someone else, you never thought you had beef to begin with. Usually, they are the ones who are the snakes to your Eve, with Eve being your sanity or your integrity. In other words, don't let them corrupt your mind, gang. These people aren't to help you. 
but to destroy you. And they benefit off of your chaos that they stir up. Around here, we call those people out up front. Like, nigga, don't pump me up. If you have a problem, you go do it. I'm not for your entertainment. And some take it as complete disrespect to the point where they will call the person out for a fade in itself. <laughs> The whole performance was a shit show. <laughs> Wayne looks spaced the fuck out. His people around him are not for him at all. It's so sad to witness a legend deteriorate before our eyes. Someone should have poured that cup out a long fucking time ago. He was in prison for what, like 11 months? That could have been where he changed his life away from the addiction. He's singing off have, key. Yes. He's standing there spaceless. It's so hard to watch. I see a lot that of people stating it's because he's 43 so years not. old. No, nigga. Beyonce is 43. Dancing like she has a bill to pay on her last tour. Kanye is 47. Right. Dancing with fans and <laughs> Children are weird. They think, they think you in your 40s and you're a step away from the grave. They, no, they don't understand. I mean, I feel like I thought like that too when I was a kid. So. China on the world tour that he's on. And when he was 43, that's when Donda dropped. And he did a free Larry Hoover concert with Drake. Drake is a 39-year-old white woman, only four years Good younger art. than Wayne. And he just came off of his own world tour. Nicki Minaj is 41 Kendrick years of age, is... two years younger than Wayne. And she just completed her own tour. But by the way, she's been acting lately. Work. Her brain might not be too far off. Allegedly, that is. Allegedly. All that's fake. She doesn't do nothing of the such. We're just uh, we're just saying allegedly. This is all for jokes. J. Cole is 40 years old riding a bike somewhere. He's three years younger than Lil Wayne. When Jay-Z was 43 years old, the same age as Wayne. We got it, they old. the 444 album <laughs> and went on a world tour himself. Kids the future was 40 years old. Three years younger than Wayne. So this isn't what 43 looks like. This isn't what 43 moves like. People trying to blame that on his age is crazy. It's a grown ass man. It's not a young man. It's not an old man. It's just a man. I mean, I guess it's a middle aged man. I, I don't know. Either way, he looks awful and he looks like he's deteriorating. All this outrage for Wayne to perform when he needs a teleprompter to even recite words but kept missing the beat? Y'all can't be serious. No. Because you wanted to be the first solo rap it's headliner for your city. I don't want to hear you guys say it's because That's he bad. has so many verses and how he doesn't write them down and how he can't possibly remember half the songs. That's just stupid. Then don't perform it. If you're not going to practice and gear up, then why perform? Neither Jay-Z and Kanye and so many other greats of hip-hop has yet to grace the Super Bowl stage themselves. And they're some of the most impactful and influential artists of all time. And they would never slight their peers of gracing that stage. That's some for real female dog energy. Some Garfield type shit. Or should I just say, that's some bitch and pussy shit. And on the gang, Kendra better not pull this nigga Wayne on stage with him either. Forget all that righteous, yeah, he holier than thou, I Kendrick. Said this too. Come with the straight boogeyman aura in New Orleans. Leans gang, I think he will. especially after all this shade. Them dudes probably wouldn't even take Kendrick's offer, anyways. They're all so damn prideful and egotistical. Look at how That's these motherfuckers too. try to dim this man's light during his announcement. Jealousy and crab in the barrel mentality. Leave them under the shade they created, gang. Mm. Hey, I'm serious. I'm gonna be real pissed the fuck off at Kendrick. He if he somehow know. shows these niggas love. And shut the fuck up, K Dot stands. No one's talking to you. Go to your shrine and pray to Kendrick or something. Go preach to a motherfucker that cares. Not this is my take, me. my opinion. This is how I feel. I had some nigga the other day come on here talking about, you lost all credibility with me. Credibility with what exactly? I started my whole channel off of talking shit about Meek and Diddy banging each other, then Drake, and then a racist white YouTuber, and then I vented Ooh. about how I was sick of J. Cole, and then again I had to get on Drake's line. When the fuck did you feel that anything I ever said was credible? This is YouTube, gang. Go touch some grass. Okay. Alright, he clapping back at the haters. Your best bet is to ignore them. People are never happy. They're never satisfied. <laughs> They're going to be mad at, at everything you say. You just got to keep pushing. Um, Yes, he made great points. And I already said these things. Especially the, the point about uh Kendrick. How he don't need to bring out uh Wayne at all. 
Um, even if he was initially thinking about it after all the backlash and after them all responding and hating, I wouldn't do a goddamn thing. I would not bring him out at all. Like, no, no, this is my moment. And I do feel like Wayne might be a bit prideful and may not even take the invite anyway, to be honest. He, he, he might have the feeling that, oh, no, I'm going to just wait for it to be my time and for them to actually ask me to do the Super Bowl. I'm not going to come out as your guest. Like, that's not how I want to come out. You know? And that that would probably also be embarrassing for him to come out as a guest in his own city. You know? For the Super Bowl. He probably won't want to do that anyway. But uh, anyway, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm looking forward to watching it. Watching Kendrick grace the stage. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!